you want to know how to learn more languages at the same time on your own and how to make this process effective and pleasant, you're at the right place because in this video I'm going to show you how do I learn more languages at the same time and how I make this process interesting and fun. Stay tuned. Learning foreign languages doesn't have to be a painful and boring process and I sincerely believe for a bunch of language enthusiasts such as I am, it really isn't. And the reason I, I made this video is to show that uh, language enthusiasts are not like a superhumans that are only learning foreign languages, sitting there with their books and working for 10 hours per day in order to improve their language skills in the target languages. It's not the case. Learning foreign languages should and has to be fun, interesting process in which you will really enjoy and in a way you can even rest while learning foreign languages. Therefore, in this video I'm showing you how to work on multiple foreign languages at the same time in one day. Currently my focus is all around five languages. All of these five foreign languages that I work on during the week, I can say they are all different levels, so I have uh, different approaches towards improving my skills in these languages. And you will see I have as well different parts of the day to dedicate to improve the skills in these languages. So at the very beginning of the day, I used to do light reading and I love to do like a warm up activities in a target language. And it's usually French. I make my uh, first day coffee in the morning and then I use this time uh, for uh, warming up a bit with foreign languages and I do some light reading. It's usually easy French literature and I enjoy my time uh, on the terrace, especially when the day is sunny. So I would take a book with myself and a coffee and uh, spend at least like a half an hour or an hour. It depends on each day and the time that I have at the moment at my disposal. So after this warm up, I use the following half an hour or hour learning uh, Turkish language and I'm uh, listening to the course in Turkish. It's called language transfer and if you want to find out more about it you can find it in the box above and I made really detailed video how you can use this course it's totally free and I highly recommend you to check it out and find out what's language transfer I think this is one of the most effective methods that I ever tried for getting better in a foreign language and just click the link above and you'll see what I'm talking about. So I use this time frame in order to improve my language skills in Turkish language and this is the part of the day in which I need to be focused the most because the course is not too long but it's very intensive and you have to be focused during listening the course and of course on the other hand I use one part of the day to make and recall the flashcards that I make in uh, Turkish language and this is something that you can see in the another link above that I will put. This is actually a set of series that I made about making effective flashcards in a target language, in this case in a Turkish language, and a Lightner box, a sort of game that you can play with your flashcards in order to improve your vocabulary in a target language and I think this is the most effective way to learn vocabulary in a target language especially when you're starting from scratch when you have already some knowledge in a target language it's much better to learn uh, foreign uh, words from the context to reading to watching YouTube videos but when you're starting from scratch I highly recommend to watch these three series of videos that I made for making Turkish flashcards that can be easily replicated for another foreign language that you want to learn. Of course, after doing this highly intensive course in Turkish language, I'm supposed to relax a bit, so I use this time frame and a sort of break to read something in English, because as you know, English is my foreign language, it's not my mother tongue, and there is always space to improve English 
And the best way to improve your language skills is actually through reading. And I read a lot in English, so one of the books that I am reading is the biography of Elon Musk. And I find it really amazing because there is a, a sort of a huge desire for me to find out how these most famous persons in the world function and how they succeeded, how they came up to such a huge success in their life. I think reading in English concretely is a great break in order to switch the languages from uh, language one to language two that you're trying to improve. The next part of the day, after like an interesting reading in English, I dedicated to one of the favorite things during my language learning process and that's uh, listening to the Italian radio station. This is very helpful because in a way you are improving your listening skills in a target language and on the other hand you're listening about the things you're interested in for instance current uh, state of affairs in foreign countries in the international community or listening to a specific topic like i don't know gardening vehicles the beauty or whatever you want but this is really a huge thing for me and I think it's really very pleasant and it can also be a background activity. I use it as a background activity for uh, some other things, uh, for instance, when I'm taking uh, some notes or I'm doing plan for uh, another day for the whole week. I'm listening to the Italian radio in the background and it helps me a lot. I believe that my Italian is the second best language that I currently speak, so I can understand uh, a lot of content, even though my Italian is not perfect, obviously. My English is not perfect uh, as well, but I enjoy being not perfect in a target language, and uh, I think uh, even with our mother tongues, we can never be perfect. Therefore, depending on your proficiency in a target language, for those languages that your proficiency is better, I highly recommend you to use radio as a, at least background activity or uh, the activity in which you would find out something more about topics that you are highly interested in. And another thing that I think is crucial for getting better in foreign languages is to understand that the key while dedicating your time towards improving foreign languages is to do the things that you do every day in a target language. So if you are reading newspapers, why not do that in a, a target language? When I started improving uh, my French, I would only like uh, read the titles in newspapers because uh, I didn't want to bother myself with uh, the whole text and this is enough, like reading titles for only 15 minutes per day can really help you create a habit in order to improve your language skills and afterwards really help you to get better in the target language. So connect your already existing habits in your mother tongue with your target language. So do the things that you already do in your mother tongue in a foreign language, in a target language. So reading newspapers, setting your language on your phone in a target language, listening to the foreign radio station, uh, watching uh, YouTube videos about topics you're really interested in, in a target language, not in your mother tongue, etc., etc. I think that all those things would immensely help you improve your language skills in the target language. The next part of the day I am dedicating towards learning Portuguese. I want to learn Brazilian Portuguese because it's very similar to French and Italian language that I already can understand and speak. So this is how I do it. I watch some YouTube channels made by Brazilian Portuguese persons. And one of my favorite YouTube channels is called Speaking Brazilian Portuguese. And I think this channel is really great because it has captions in Brazilian Portuguese and in English at the same time. So it's very easy to understand what is the YouTuber talking about and to stop a YouTube video in order to 
check some of the words and I think the girl has a bunch of really interesting videos especially about tourism within Brazil and there are some videos as well about Brazilian history so I find this really a compelling input for the improvement of my Brazilian Portuguese as you can see so I have different methods for different languages and this method I think it's a pure acquisition method because like I said I don't speak Brazilian Portuguese but I can understand a bunch of words because there are so many cognates between Brazilian Portuguese French, Italian and even English. Beside these uh, listening exercises I'm trying to acquire and uh, learn consciously some words, concrete phrases in Brazilian Portuguese and of course I'm trying to review a bit of Brazilian Portuguese grammar and this is only in uh, my intention to make the process a bit faster but uh, like I said these are only glimpses of the things that I do after these uh, sort of exercises I would most probably make a pause and uh, rest a bit because even though this process is plausible and pleasant. We all need some rest of languages and activities such as uh, meditation uh, or physical activities can really help you to generate new power for the another part of the day. Besides all these things that uh, we have mentioned so far in my language learning process throughout the day, one of the activities that I implemented is uh, the application that I use and it's called Hello Talk. And I made a YouTube video on Hello Talk, you can uh, find it above, in which I explain how Hello Talk can help you in order to master your skills in uh, target language and for which uh, population of language learners I find Hello Talk as most useful and uh, what are the advantages and uh, disadvantages of this application. And if you want to find out more about HelloTalk and how you can use HelloTalk uh, as a tool that I think it's really amazing in order to improve your language skills, you can click on the link above and find it out in the YouTube video that's dedicated to HelloTalk and in which I access every single tool that HelloTalk provides in order to make your language learning process better and more successful. Besides improving my skills in uh, target languages on HelloTalk, I use HelloTalk as a tool in order to help another persons that are language enthusiasts to improve their skills in target languages as well. Uh, therefore, I make a bunch of voice rooms and live streams in which I share my experience with foreign languages and open some discussions about topics that I think are relevant for a vast majority of language enthusiasts and current topics as well. In live streams, there is actually a visual effect where participants can see the person that's making live streams so that can make things even more comprehensible. Beside all these things that are dedicated towards improving my skills in uh, target language, I dedicated one part of my day towards uh, researching new methods in order to improve skills in a target language, in order to acquire languages. So I read the research papers at least like 15 minutes per day, trying to figure out whether there are some new, more compelling methods or ways to get better in a target language. After this, I would probably spend some time listening to the French YouTube videos. I think that uh, listening is the second most important thing besides reading in order to improve your language skills and acquire a foreign language in most natural way and most efficient way in the same time. I have a bunch of French YouTubers that I follow and as well I made a YouTube video about that, you can find it above. So if you're interested about uh, French YouTube channels that are at least for me, the best in order to help you to improve your skills in, in this language. Check out this video above and uh, I'm sure that you will find something that's interesting for you. So there are French YouTube channels that I highly recommend you to watch and they are all on different topics from learning grammar, 
learning about the French culture and the country, towards uh, learning uh, French history and things, even politics, you know, like uh, there is uh, one interesting YouTube channel about politics in general and uh, things uh, that are happening in the world. So I spend at least half an hour in order to listen to the French language and watch this content that I find really comprehensible. And that's it guys, uh, so in this video you saw how many languages I am focused on currently and what are the ways in which you can use your time throughout the day in order to improve your language skills in the target language and I hope that this YouTube video was helpful for you and if you like this YouTube channel please consider subscribing to it. As I said in the previous videos, the only point of this channel is to help you get better in the foreign language and to share my experience with languages as someone who is really looking forward a new experience and getting better in uh, all those languages. And uh, see you in some of the next videos. Bye!